Here in Las Vegas, the real estate market is seeing a slow but steady turnaround, but luxury sales in particular are through the roof. And now the question is if that's a trend that will last or just another bubble waiting to burst. Customers in Vegas are going from VIP suites to VIP homes. In the last, let's say, 18 to 24 months, uh, specifically, we've seen a big pickup, and in the last 12 months, we've seen an explosion in luxury sales. Larry Tardy bought a luxury Vegas condo in 2008 to escape the rainy weather in Oregon. It's not wet, and there's so much to do here. So Larry liked it so much, he recently upgraded to an even bigger, multi-million dollar property. All of my relatives just love and my friends love coming here because it is so luxurious. In 2011, about 4,000 homes priced at over $250,000 were sold in Vegas, and that number jumped to 5,000 homes in 2012. Last year, over 8,000 were sold. So maybe a little bit later this afternoon? Randy Char is the vice president of a sprawling luxury high-rise. Last year, he hit a personal record of over $100 million in sales, about three times what he sold in 2011. Randy says the growing list of Vegas amenities is attracting big spenders who recovered from the recession. People's lives were on hold, and now they feel the freedom to, to actually pursue what they want to pursue. And Vegas is more affordable than places like Miami and Southern California. Just what you can acquire out here, you can get so much for your money. Randy doesn't consider this sales spike another bubble. He says the market is more stable because banks aren't handing out mortgages. It's still cheaper to buy than build, and more folks are paying in cash. People aren't going to walk away from a cash purchase, obviously. A University of Las Vegas senior economist agrees. He views this as a long-term turnaround because demand is high and there are still many homes to be sold. As long as we continue to work off the excess inventory, there's going to be upward pressure on houses. Larry says he doesn't consider his Vegas home a gamble. It's not about how much money I can make or what I'm going to lose if, I, if, if, if the economy continues to go down. It's my lifestyle, it's the way I want to live, and it's my sanctuary. In Las Vegas, Matt Finn, Fox News.